searing memes tearing into Donald Trump have flooded social media following his disgraceful performance alongside Russian President Vladimir Putin in Helsinki. The U.S. president was accused of being in Putin's pocket after the pair met at a historic summit on Wednesday. During a press conference following private talks that lasted more than two hours, Trump stunned the world with an answer to a question about Russian interference in the U.S. election. He appeared to dismiss the conclusions reached by U.S. intelligence agencies, instead seemingly taking Putin at his word that Russia didn't meddle in the election that saw him defeat Hillary Clinton. It prompted social media users to flood Twitter and Instagram with memes mocking Trump, many of them portraying him as a literal puppet being handled by Putin. One meme used a well-known picture of a shirtless Putin on horseback, editing in Trump behind him, while another played on the distracted boyfriend meme. A number of memes showed the U.S. president as Putin's child including one that showed him being walked on a leash by the Russian strongman. Some memes showed Trump and Putin dressed in leather, with one portraying the U.S. president as the submissive in a BDSM relationship. One shows a winking Vladimir Putin being kissed by Donald Trump along with the hashtag number treason summit, and another portrayed their pair eating the same piece of spaghetti with the caption, Lady and the Trump. The memes reflected Trump's status as a nearly solitary figure in his administration still holding on to doubts about whether Russians tried to sway the election. His top national security officials, Democrats and most Republicans in Congress, say U.S. intelligence agencies got it right. The special counsel's continuing Russia investigation has laid out a detailed trail of attempts and successes by Russians to steal Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton campaign communications and to leak embarrassing emails and documents. But at the joint press conference with Putin, Trump said, they said they think it's Russia. I have President Putin. He just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. I have great confidence in my intelligence people. But I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. Just minutes earlier on the same platform, Putin had offered a reason by admitting that he wanted Trump to win, even while denying Moscow ever meddled. Yes, I wanted him to win because he spoke of normalization of Russian-US ties, he said at the news conference, acknowledging a preference that is widely suspected in Washington. Just hours after the news conference, the U.S. government charged a Russian woman with conspiracy to act as a Kremlin agent while infiltrating political groups. Marina Butina, 29, allegedly served as a covert Russian agent while living in Washington, gathering intelligence on American officials and political organizations and working to establish back-channel lines of communications for the Kremlin. Special counsel Robert Mueller didn't file the charge against Butina, but court papers show her activities revolved around American politics during the 2016 campaign and included efforts to use contacts with the National Rifle Association to develop relationships with U.S. politicians and gather intelligence for Russia. But last week, Mueller charged 12 Russian military intelligence officers, alleging a sweeping conspiracy to interfere in the election. The charges were the first to tie such alleged criminal behavior directly to the Kremlin. And the indictments were just the latest in a series of actions taken by the U.S. government since late 2016 in retribution for what intelligence agencies say was a broad plan to support Trump's election campaign directed by Putin himself. But in Helsinki, Trump also appeared to embrace Putin's offer to have Russian investigators work together with U.S. prosecutors on the case of the 12 just indicted. I think that's an incredible offer. Astonished Republicans and Democrats uniformly condemned Trump, with harsh criticism coming even from hosts on Fox News, a network normally friendly to the president. Trump returned from his European tour, which also saw him attack British Prime Minister Theresa May on her own soil, to face the ire of intelligence officials and senior Republicans who denounced him as shameful and disgraceful. Republican Senator John McCain said Trump's seeming acceptance of Putin's denial was a historical low point for the U.S. presidency and the Helsinki summit between the two leaders a tragic mistake. Today's press conference in Helsinki was one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president in memory, McCain said in a blistering statement. The damage inflicted by President Trump's naivete, egotism, false equivalence, and sympathy for autocrats is difficult to calculate, McCain said in a blistering statement. No prior president has ever abased himself more abjectly before a tyrant. Taking direct issue with the president who appointed him, 
Director of National Intelligence Dan Coates said U.S. spy agencies have been clear and fact-based in their assessment that Moscow interfered in the presidential race two years ago. Coates added that Russia remains behind ongoing, pervasive efforts to undermine our democracy. The president must appreciate that Russia is not our ally, added Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan. There is no moral equivalence between the United States and Russia, which remains hostile to our most basic values and ideals, he said. Senior Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said Trump's answer on meddling will be seen by Russia as a sign of weakness. But determined to forge a personal bond with the Kremlin chief, Trump headed into the summit blaming the stupidity of his predecessors for plunging ties with Russia to their present low. Our relationship with Russia has never been worse thanks to many years of U.S. foolishness and stupidity and now, the rigged witch hunt, he wrote on Twitter before the meeting with Putin. This is shameful, said Senator Jeff Flake, a fellow Republican and staunch critic of the president. I never thought I would see the day when our American president would stand on the stage with the Russian president and place blame on the United States for Russian aggression. The language used by Democrats was much harsher, including accusations of treason. For the president of the United States to side with President Putin against American law enforcement, American defense officials, and American intelligence agencies is thoughtless, dangerous, and weak, said Chuck Schumer, the senior Democrat in the Senate. Democratic California Representative Jimmy Gomez added, to side with Putin over U.S. intelligence is disgusting. To fail to defend the U.S. is on the verge of treason. Congressman Adam Schiff, the senior Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, said Trump had given Putin a green light to interfere in 2018. Democratic Senator Chris Murphy was blunter. This entire trip has just been one giant middle finger from President Trump to his own country. Just jaw-dropping. He wrote on Twitter. Coat's statement was seen as an uncommonly brusque pushback by the U.S. intelligence community against the White House. Retired spy chiefs were more direct, however. Coat's predecessor, James Clapper, called Trump's acquiescence to Putin an incredible capitulation, while former CIA chief John Brennan labeled it nothing short of treasonous.